So the twin paradox is actually was one of my exam questions. I remember it very yeah. clearly. <laughs> yeah. So what happens is when the one twin leaves at the speed of light and gets to the planet and orbits the planet, the other one is on Earth. But the time that passed for the one on Earth is the time that it took light to reach the other planet. So if it's a, a million light years away, it took a million years. If it's 40 light years away, it took 40 years for that twin to see his brother actually get there. And then the bro brother has to turn around and come back. So it's going to take another 40 years or 20 years, however far the planet is. So the twin that stays on Earth in its own inert reference frame, that twin is the twin that ages. The other twin that leaves the planet in a new reference frame, orbits a planet in another reference frame, and comes back in a new reference frame, that's the one that does not age because of him traveling at the speeds of light. With that in mind... You know, you were saying about extraterrestrial life on other planets. So is it possible that we are looking at planets that technically today hold intelligent life, but we are seeing them as it was before that intelligent life arrived? Yes. We might be looking in the right places, just at the wrong time. So that is actually what astrobiologists are looking at at this stage. So looking at the compounds and the chemistry that is needed for life to start because we know what we need basically what we need to stay alive here so if we can find those things on a planet that needs to still start we can see that life evolve and form and get to the point where they are intelligent yes they might already have evolved to the point where they are intelligent enough to go to their closest moon but we can't see that because they are x amount of light years away